Today our topic for discussion is, how to assess the reliability of a questionnaire through SPSS, we will also learn how to increase the reliability, or Kronbach alpha value, of the self-made questionnaire. Our first topic for discussion is, the reliability testing of the questionnaire using SPSS. It's understood that, a questionnaire is essential for data collection in research. Sometimes it is ready-made and available. Sometimes it is created. When we create a questionnaire, how do we come to know that is it reliable? There are various methods one of them is, reliability testing through SPSS. Let's learn. For example, this is a sample of a self-made questionnaire to collect data about depression, the questionnaire is made short for easy understanding. Now, how did we come to know it is a reliable questionnaire? So it will be checked by SPSS. To assess the reliability of this self-developed questionnaire, you have to collect data using your questionnaire. For reliability testing collecting data of 20% of your sample size is enough, or collecting data of 30 respondents. It is called a pilot study. Now, let's discuss the data collection process, it's very simple, but I will discuss it in detail, because it is very important for understanding reliability. So please be focused, and for easy understanding, we will collect data from six respondents only. Imagine you are collecting data in a ward of the hospital, just imagine you are collecting data from a depressed respondent, then the expected answers may be like this, question number one, do you feel sad? If the patient is depressed then there are increased chances that the reply will be yes, question two, do you feel hopeless? Depressed will reply yes, question three, do you feel lethargic? Also yes. Question four, do you sleep properly? Note that depressed patients cannot sleep properly, so there are increased chances that the answer may be no. There are increased chances that other depressed respondents will reply in the same manner, but there is also the chance of little variation in answers. Now imagine you are collecting data from a normal respondent who is not depressed, then the expected answers may be like this. Question number one, do you feel sad? If the patient is normal, then there are increased chances that the reply will be no. Question two, do you feel hopeless? Normal will reply no. Question number three, do you feel lethargic? Also no. Question number four, do you sleep properly? The respondent is normal, so there are increased chances that the reply may be yes. There are increased chances that other normal respondents will reply in the same manner, but there is also the chance of little variation in answers. Before inputting the collected data into SPSS, go to the variable view of SPSS and input variables, questions, there, as shown below. Now, go to the data view of SPSS and input collected data, as shown below. Done, now, it is time to check the reliability. Now, go to Analyze, then click on Scale, then on Reliability Analysis, as shown in the picture. Now, questions that are related to depression move to the other box, by clicking on the arrow. Note that the reliability of each part of the questionnaire is checked separately. For example, imagine, there are also questions related to stress, we will not move them to the box, and those can be checked separately. Now, click on Statistics. Then, mark the items as per your need, but must mark this box that is, Scale if items deleted, by clicking on this, we will come to know, which question is not reliable in our self-made questionnaire. Then click on Continue. Then, click on OK. Now a table will be generated, showing different values, the value, which is shown in a red circle called Kronbacher's alpha value. It is a very important value, from this value we know the reliability of the questionnaire. The calculated value is 0.303, which is very low, it means that, our self-made questionnaire is not reliable. Note that, high value means high reliability. Here is the range list of Kronbacher's alpha value, a value below 0.6 is unacceptable, between 0.6 to 0.7 is acceptable reliability, above 0.8 means great reliability of your questionnaire. Now, question arises, how to increase this value? Let's discuss about it, in next topic. The method to increase the reliability or Kronbach alpha value of self-made questionnaire. There are two methods, by deleting, or by modification of unreliable items. Look at the lower table. Kronbach's alpha if item deleted, 
the item proper sleep, shows a higher Kronbacher's alpha value on deletion, it means if we delete this question, Kronbacher's alpha value increases to 0.926, note that items that are showing a higher value on deletion are problematic, we need to modify or delete those items. Now, look at other items, if we delete any other item, Kronbacher's alpha value will decrease. If fourth problematic item is deleted then, calculated Kronbacher's alpha value, after application of the reliability test is 0.926. It is very high, which means great reliability, that's great. Then what, if this item, is very important to you, and you don't want to delete it? So, to get the required reliability, there is a need for modification in it. Now let's discuss, what is wrong with this item. The meaning of reliability is a continuous same answer, but look at collected data, this question is deteriorating reliability. It is clear that, this question is breaking the flow of the same answers, reliability, in collected data. If this problematic item is modified in this way then. Now, the modified question is do you have sleep problems? If this question is asked from the depressed, the depressed will reply, yes, similarly other depressed will also reply yes instead of no. If this question, do you have sleep problems, is asked to a normal person, there is an increased chance that the reply will be no. Similarly, other normal individuals are likely to respond in the same manner, except in some exceptional cases. Now, this collected data after question modification. Now look at the collected data, there is the flow of the same answers means good reliability. During data collection, there is always the chance of little variation in responses, but if there is no variation in responses, the Kronbach alpha value becomes 1, which means maximum reliability. Look at the calculated Kronbacher's alpha value, after question modification is increased to 0.914. We have learned about reliability testing, and also about the identification and modification of problematic items, to increase the reliability or Kronbacher's alpha value of a self-made questionnaire. Thank you. For any suggestions comment below.